right, what a fantastic fight night we have coming up this next weekend, Mason. In the main event, as always, where we start, Curtis Blades coming in at a minus 310 to a plus 250. Chris Dawkus. Yep. How do you see this matchup going? Uh, is Curtis Blades, like, he's a big favorite now. Do you agree with that line? Um, yeah, yeah, I definitely do. I, I think uh, I think Curtis Blades will get the job done here against Chris Dawkus. I think... I think he's going to do what he's always done, and that's, uh, you know, take his opponents down, grind them out over the course of five rounds, maybe get a TKO KO finish, maybe sneak in a sub, but this is going to be all Curtis Blades. Uh, mm-hmm. The only asterisk to that is Curtis Blades has been knocked out a few times and knocked out real cold, you know, twice to Nganu and a couple other times as well. Uh, so if Chris Dawkins can catch him, it's definitely possible he can knock him out. But he's got to catch him before Curtis Blades takes him down, because Curtis will definitely implement that ground game and will will dominate, mm-hmm. in my opinion. And I, I actually like the line here to minus three ten to a plus two fifty in Chris Dawkins. I think it makes sense. So would you be shocked if Curtis went out there and knocked out Chris Dawkins though? Because I mean he has done that where we've seen matchups with him where he goes out there and like he's just going to take him down and shoot immediately and then he goes out there and out strikes a guy. So that thing is a good matchup for Curtis Blades. I think he could win everywhere. I just think he's going to be a better fighter. He is a top five guy in this heavyweight division and he's got if he's struggling on the feet he's got crushing I mean crushing wrestling uh, there. So. It is what it is. I agree with you. I do like this line at uh, minus 310. I will be taking Blades in this fight. I'm going to be putting 3,500 church coin on him. I would like to put more, but a minus 310, even though I do believe he's the most lock-in pick on this card, it just, uh, 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 I'm just going to do the 3,500. I'm going to take my easy 1,000 church coin here. Yeah. But to get into my prop bet, I'm actually taking Curtis Blades by KO, TKO. I would not be surprised if he goes on the ground and starts raining down heavy, heavy shots on Chris Dawkins and gets the finish, boys. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm on the same opinion here. You know, Chris Dawkins was knocked out in his last fight against Derek Lewis, that round one in uh, late December, that card there. Here, here's the thing. I, I, I am also putting 3,100 church coin on Curtis Blades for the win here. I just think he gets the job done. I think he's the more uh, well-rounded fighter just everywhere. You know, Chris has got a shot to KO him, no doubt about it. But Curtis has got a shot to KO him too. And then I think with the wrestling implementing that, it's all Curtis Blades. 3,100 church coin on Blades. And then my prop bet, and I actually hope I do not hit this prop. I would much rather see Tabor's TKO KO because that's a lot more fun. But I think realistically Blades wins this fight via decision. Decision. That is my prop bet, and I'm putting 200 church coin on Blades' decision.